Hi, it's Peg, and uh, today was a Monday, and it was all about making marks. So Shell and I decided to do a pop-up. You know, it's the pandemic season, and we've got to keep ourselves busy. So we thought we would just do a Monday mark-making video for you guys. And if you want to see the whole thing, you can go over to Art Joyous Sharing. That's a sister channel where... Shell and I do live shows each Thursday at 10.30 Central Standard Time. And during this uh, month, we've also been doing Monday videos. So you can join us uh, on the live show if you want to. So I have my gel plate out and I'm making marks on it with these um, paint pens from Arteza. They're very similar to the Posca paint pens, but um, are a little better price point. So I thought I'd give them a try. And um, just making some dotty marks on the gel plate. I'm going to set that aside to dry, and then I'll put some paint over that to pull a print. And I'm doing this before the actual live show starts. Um, just doing a little preparatory work and talking with Shell in the green room and getting things ready. So we should be starting up here pretty quick. So now I'm moving on to the second plate. Uh, I have some purple and pink, and I'm just uh, scribbling some of that paint down on the gel plate. And it'll be the same process. I'll put the paint down, let it dry, and then I'll use some heavy body acrylic to pull that up with. But people are starting to join us in the chat. And uh, Shell's working on, I think she was doing a gel print to start with too. So if you're interested in that, be sure and check out either the live show there. Or I'm pretty sure she videotaped in addition to the live show. So you might check out her channel. Um, Just drawing some patterns and talking to the audience. And putting on a little art guard. Because, <laughs> you know, we're working with paint. And I'm going to have it all over me here before I'm done. So, got to protect my hands. So, these Arteza pens are kind of interesting. There's uh, 20 in this set. Shell tells me that there's a larger set that's got something like 40 or 50, I don't know, but I didn't think I needed a big set like that, so I got a smaller set just to try them out. You know, sometimes it's good just to get a small amount of something and give it a try before you go whole hog because uh, you may decide that's really not your favorite product, and then you're stuck with it and you're saying, hmm, I really need to use this up. So I got the small kit, and in the small kit, I find that it's a really interesting kit because um, it comes with these extra tips so that you can use either the small or the large tip, and you, you can pull, see I'm pulling that out and showing you that you can change the tip out, and uh, it comes in both matte and metallic colors, so it's quite a nice assortment. You know, I'm new to Arteza, haven't had a lot of their products, but um, I'm really pleased, you know, with the price point and the quality of what you're getting. Now, Shell and I are talking about these uh, sprays. I am going to use some of these Dina Wakely sprays today and some Seth Apter uh, paints. I like the chalky finish that those Seth Apter paints have. So I got it out on my desk. I decided I was going to use a little bit of that paint for a pickup. And 
going to my first plate. I'm going to put that down in, I can't remember. Oh, I was using some uh, different kind of paper. It's kind of a, like a rice paper or something to pull that print with, and it really did not pull that well. Um, I don't know if the paper was just such that it didn't soak in. You know, what, one of the things that you want is that moisture from the paint to soak into your paper. You can kind of peel the corner and see if it's transferring because, you know, acrylic paint is just that. It's a plastic, and as it dries, it should, you know, leave that plastic on the paper. Well, you can see what I got was this uh, model-looking print. Not that I don't like it. <laughs> I think it's kind of a cool print, but uh, it didn't pull the whole thing. So. Now I'm going to pull the rest of it using some packing tape. See if I can't get that to come up off the gel plate. Now Shell and I were talking about, you know, the age of our gel prints or gel plates and how how long we've used them and, you know, cleaned them and all the different things that you put on there and we weren't too sure if there was a point where uh they have just been used so much that they're starting to get to the place where the paint just soaks in and saturates the paint instead of sitting on top of it, or the plate, not the paint, and sits on top of it. So um, anyway, I, I pulled the rest of that with the tape, and then I thought, well, I want something to stick down uh, where there wasn't paint. So I put this text paper on and decided, well, that wasn't the thing to do either. So I'm going to squirt that with some water and see if I can't get the paper up and leave the text behind on this piece of tape. We were talking about different inks and things, too. Shell was working with a dip pen, and um, so I was showing that Chinese calligraphy pen, or paper pen. I can't even talk today. Showing the Chinese calligraphy ink, which I thought would be pretty cool with her dip pen, because it has, um, it comes with multiple colors where it's a black ink when you put it down, but it kind of separates into gold and black or silver and black, or they're just, they're really different inks. Uh, I think what she had was some of that speedball or not sure what kind and she she wasn't having a real good time with her ink today either so I got most of that um, paper off of there and now I'm just kind of seeing what that looks like with some black paper behind and I uh, think I'm gonna cut this down I want a kind of a blobby shape to to collage with and I don't want those excess pieces of tape that are on the edge, so I'm just going to cut that out. And I don't like the colorization from the paper, so I'm going to add some quinacridone gold, you know, one of my favorites, and blend that in. And I'm happier with the end results. It's got that golden tone to it. Kind of brings it all together. So. Today, I don't know, I was feeling this black journal and I decided I was going to work in this black journal. Now, I lost some footage someplace, but um, these are little squares that I had uh, gel printed. I'm showing you some of the pieces that I, I'd lost the footage on. This is the print that I had made and I'd used some of this eye zinc, which is a really cool glazing medium. I mean, it goes over the top turquoise on there is the Dina Wakely spray through a stencil and then I put that eye zinc over the top and the eye zinc is really glossy. Um, what I did is I wiped a little bit on the back of the package so that you know I can see what it looks like because the, the front of the package really doesn't look anything like the glaze when you put it down. You see that real Kelly green um, when you use it as a glaze, it's more of a mint green. So you just need to be aware of that. But uh, Seth's got that on his site for sale. And if you're interested in it, you can go 
check him out. You know, I'm sure he'd be happy to have the business since he's stuck at home and can't travel and do his classes and things that he normally makes his income from. So, uh, so here's the page where I put the little squares behind and I've got this uh, art by Marlene Mermaid. So that's it. Hope to see you on Thursday and thanks for stopping by.